From football to football, New Mexico State now just 11 days from kicking off the Quick Lane Bowl versus Bowling Green in Detroit, Michigan. The Falcons are currently three and a half point favorites, but the way the Aggies played down the stretch, expect a very competitive game the day after Christmas. Now, the Aggies have been able to hang their hats on the defense for much of the year under first year defensive coordinator uh, Nate Dryling. NMSU ranks in the top 30 nationally in multiple categories, including total defense and pass efficiency defense. NMSU would rank second in Bowling Green's conference, the MAC in those categories, and they could play a big role in Detroit. The Falcons largely move the ball through the air with veteran quarterback Matt McDonald, who the Aggies say reminds them of a player they've already seen this year. I would say the Mizzou quarterback, but just, you know, a little bit. Not as good, I would say, but as far as decision making, they're pretty similar, you know. They're older guys, you know, they'll be able to take the ball down, stuff like that, gonna take what we give them. So we just gotta be sound on defense, where he's. I think the big thing with them is that they show so many different looks and uh, so many different alignments. Uh, you know, they'll run a bunch of trick plays. I, you know, they just keep you off balance offensively. And uh, so, uh, you know, there'll be a test uh, mentally. Bowling Green scored 30 or more points five times this year, going four and one in those games, but they were just two and five when held under 30 points. Now, against a group of five teams in 2022, the most points NMSU gave up was 26 points way back in September to Hawaii. In their last five games versus group of five opponents, the Aggies did not give up more than 14 points in any game. NMSU will look to stay undefeated all time in bowl games as well, December 26th at 12:30 Mountain Time in the Quick Lane Bowl.